Perfect. Thanks, Mike. So yeah, for the purpose of the recording, um, today we're going to be chatting all things uh, product guide. Um, heaps of photographers ask us about these. Heaps of photographers ask us to send them images. But I've noticed that it's a massive block. Like it's it's quite a big chunk of work. And knowing how to pull it together, what to include, what to leave out, um, can be quite stressful. So I'm going to throw over to Mark. Um, and I also wanted to thank in advance um, two photographers who've offered us their existing product guides to do a bit of a live review on. I think that's going to make it a lot more meaningful. So take it away, Mark. Yeah, cool. So look, a product guide is pretty clear of what it is. It's a, a it's the product guide. It's to sell product and introduce products to your client. What you do need to really understand with selling products is you need to understand your products in general. Um, you need to have a good kind of the graphs on what you sell and how you sell it as well. The main part is before we even look at a product guide is we need to go backwards and I'm going to get my sprint class um, called uh, Systems and Workflow Mastery. And anyone that's worked with me will know this little bubble map. And the first part of the bubble map up the very top is your business models, products and price list. You can't create a product guide if you have not nailed down your prices and your price list and your products that you plan to sell. <laughs> so the first thing you need to do is you need to finish, finalize, sign off what products you're going to sell, the prices. Now, every price list should have those five main key things. One is your albums and boxes. Two is your individual wall art. Three is your wall art collections. Four are your storyboards and five are your extras and add-ons and upgrades and would you like fries with that scenario. With those five um, parts on your price list in mind, you need to then create your product guide around those so that people understand what it is. Then you need to figure out when am I going to use a product guide? Like at what part of the client journey does the product guide, not talk about products, obviously you don't talk about products, your website's going to have some products, but when it comes to an actual physical booklet and product guide, like when in your client journey are you going to give the product guide to the clients? Because that will also determine what goes inside it because there's a few things you could do. And I've just received the email from Dylan regarding the other product guide that I've got. Because both of these that I'm reviewing today are designed in two different ways to communicate at two different parts. A traditional product guide is you would have an experience guide, which talks about all of the experiences. And then you have the product guide where it's specifically about products only. That's what you would do. Now, the reason why they're, sh they're shaped completely different is so your clients don't get confused with what product guide they have. So from a design point of view, that's done on purpose. So it doesn't look the same. Now, once you establish where you're gonna use this in the client journey, that's when you can develop your product guide. Because what we need to think about is if you're going to use it at the inquiry stage and it's product only, it's too much information and they don't know what you're talking about. If you're going to have a combination product guide like this one here, you've actually got all of the experience plus then all about the wall art and the products as well. So this would be a combination guide. Feel like I'm in. I'm, I feel like I'm making this really obvious, but I'm just trying to make it really obvious. You can separate it in two, or you can turn it into one. That's what you need to decide first and foremost. Because if you turn it into one, that means you only need one PDF and the one guide to tell the whole story. If you turn it into two. They're two different frames of mind depending on who you're talking to. 
This one about the experience gets them over the line to get the booking. This one about the products to sell them the wall art and the finished artwork. First thing you need to do is work out that. Once you've worked out that, you need to then start to go, all right, what is it on the inside that I want to say? What do I want to do? So I'm going to use, you might need to um, allow share screen, if that's all right, Dylan as well. I'm going to use this one as an example. And I'm just going to go share screen. Now, who's, who's, who's is this one? Who's is this? Where are you? This is Stacy's from the Lyra Photography. I can see on that screen over there. All right. So Stacy, with your product guide, this isn't truly a product guide. This is a combined experience and product guide. So when you say product guide, um, it's, it's a portrait guide. So you've got all the right things in there in terms of the welcome, the studio, <coughs> about you, what you do behind the scenes, newborns, children, family, maternity, the experience. Whoops. So you've nailed that part of the approach of what it is that you do. Then what happens here, you've gone too hard too soon. You've, you've missed a whole section in this space. Because all of a sudden, oh, we're selling food, a la carte. Sorry, it's just this thing that I do. It's a bugbear, food, a la carte. It's just weird. Um, anyway, if you want to call it a la carte, that's fine. Um, but what you've done, you're selling prints, wood prints, canvas, and, and box star canvas, right? Now, from the eyes of a client, what the hell's a wood print? What is a wood print? What is a wood print? What is a box canvas? I know what a canvas is because canvases are canvases, but what is a box? Is like a canvas that comes in a box, you mean? Or is it like, what actually is that? Because there's no description of anything about what this is. What's a linen folio box? What is that? Now you might say, if you scroll down, you'll see. I don't know that they are boxed canvases A because you haven't written it there. And I'm not that I'm not that smart as a client. I don't know what that actually is. It just looks like a picture with a frame. Is it a picture with a frame or is it a boxed canvas? I don't know, it's a good question. Um, so it's one of those things where you need to sell what the products are before you sell the products. Because what you've got here is this wood print canvas, the, the box canvas, but I'm still not sure what it is that you're trying to sell. So what you would need to do, take out this page. You don't need this page. This page should have something that looks like, right? Just trying to find one that's appropriate. That looks like that. Does that make sense? It's an actual description of what the frame is, the canvas, the wood prints. What is the actual finished product in the first place to then how much it is and what it sells for? Same thing with your portrait boxes, same thing with your USB 11 by 14 inch wood art folio mount box with 15 matted prints. Same thing with that is that on the other side, at the back, it's got the same thing. Here's what the products are, right? So it's very clear of what the products are, what you sell in the first place. Then you can sell the packages because they actually know what comes in the package and what the product is. Because it's obvious to us, because we talk in that space all the time, but it's not obvious to your clients because it's just not obvious for your clients. You gotta, 
going to treat them like your clients are kind of dumb and they know nothing. So it's in the nicest way. You're spoon feeding the clients of what, what it is that you're offering. All right. Because you've got it here. You've got it here, which is great. So move that stuff earlier. So we want to educate them about what the products are first and then go, and you can get them in these different collections and series. That's probably the only one big thing you need to change. <clears throat> the other part with this as well, to finish off the booklet, like would you, you can unmute yourself as well. Would, would, would you give this at an inquiry stage or at the booking well, stage? I've just start, I haven't even sent any of this to a client yet. So I've literally just started. Um, I yeah, I was in tossing out whether to do not include the packages and um, all that and just do experience guides separate, um, or like the inquiry stage. So I'm now thinking that maybe I need to I'm thinking I'll send it first up, but I don't want it to be too overwhelming with having all the products. Yeah. So what you can do is if you don't want to add all the prices, mm -hmm. you don't have to. So starting from. Starting from. Yeah. Just like your website. Yeah. Because you just want to give them a taste of what it is that, that you're offering. But then would you have all like the products as well? Like if I was to send something to an inquiry, is that going to be overwhelming? Because you wouldn't say starting from and show the examples of the collection, would you? Um, it's got a link with your website as well. It's kind of, it's all a big yeah spider web so yeah. um yes and no so you wouldn't necessarily so what you you don't even need to put your prices on this so all mm. of our booklets here do not have a price with anything yeah okay it's only what the product is because what happens which we'll talk kind of later <laughs> if you sent this as a pdf it's fine it doesn't really matter but if you were to print 500 of these and then you want to change the price. prices change yeah stuffed yeah so that's the part the other thing here is that once you've you've sent this off you need one more page at the end of all of this and i know that you you've got a back page here mm -hmm. but instead of i look forward to working with you make it a little bit more of a call to action like you know if you you know it'd be so nice to meet you you know it, just do it more of a salesy like It'll be so nice. Um, like, thank you for inquiring with us. We hope to look after you and your family soon. All you need to do is call this number and then we can organize the time to have it. Like, tell them what happens next in the yeah. experience. All right. So, the difference with your booklet that we have here is that you can send this at the inquiry stage and it makes perfect sense because you're talking them through the entire, the, entire journey all right what we have with katrina's who's also here on the call katrina johns which i'm just going to reconfigure <coughs> is that you know <laughs> you can see that you've done a lot of homework katrina good job good job um you know thanks so much for choosing us to be your family photographers we love working with you so what we're saying here is this is actually given, Katrina, and correct me if, I, if I'm wrong here, in your client flow at the photo shoot. Yeah? Awesome. Because the language is very clear. Thanks so much for having a great photo shoot. Next few, day, few days, thinking about how would you like to display your artwork. Things to consider. <coughs> Confirm which rooms you'd love to display the artwork in. Um, with this, Katrina, just try to give us some space. It's a bit too full. It needs to be spaced out a bit. Um, confirm which rooms. So your homework is confirm which rooms you love to display the images, take photos of the walls, choose which product collections, choose which payment option suits you best. Nice big room view at the start, which is pretty obvious of that's what you're trying to sell. Wall art. An explanation of it all. Finishes. So this is perfect, Katrina, probably because you're in shooting for success in Marcy Marketing and you've seen a hundred of these before anyway. Um, you know, you, you're letting people know 
whether you want something more traditional or you want something cleaner or something metal, the choice is yours. You've got some options here, which is really cool. You can choose the frames. You'll have your canvas picture and you'll have a metal print as well. The wall collections. What I would suggest here, see how you've got this little suggestion here, storyboard frames. Choose from multiple images in one frame. You're telling them what a storyboard frame is, which is really cool. Tell them what a wall collection is. Because you've said here what wall art is, but wall collections are a great way to display multiple images of your family to tell a story. But that's pretty much it. <coughs> now, in your case, you've just got the shape and outline of the product, which is fine. People do this with room views as, as well, but this is a really easy way to just show what that the look and feel will be as well. Storyboard frames is great. Visual storybooks are great and the memory box. So you're ticking the boxes between individual wall art, wall art collections, storyboards, boxes, so hard to do four figures, boxes and albums. And then what you have forgotten about though, is your would you like fries with that stuff? your acrylics, your tulips, your desktop art, your parent albums and all your smaller stuff as well. But you have addressed an elephant in the room, which is your digital files. So it's very clear that that's what you can do. One thing that's nice and clear as well is placing the order. This is how you're gonna pay for your stuff. This is when your appointment is. And the terms and conditions are really important that everybody's there as well. <coughs> so I guess going back to the point I was making earlier, gotta be really clear of when in, when in your client journey are you going to use what product guide for what purpose? So this is really clear, it's after the photo shoot. And I love it the begin with the end in mind. In other words, like we're going to figure out what you want to buy at the end. So that's the first thing that you need to work out. When are you going to give it to them? And how does it fit? Because your language and what you show. Because Katrina, in your case, if you're giving that to them at the time of the photo shoot or when they book, I don't care about your testimonies anymore. I don't care about who you photograph and different age groups and ages and stages and the experience. They've already booked. Like they don't care. Like move on. So you could actually give this booklet at the time of the booking if you wanted to, to go, hey, this is what we're shooting for. Which means, because you've already said it, thanks so much for choosing us to be your, your family uh, photographers. So technically you could do this at the shoot or at the booking stage. Cool? Wondering, thinking, thumbs up, good job. So that's just two really cool examples of that. Um, the other thing I wanted to quickly look at is the digital versus something printed. Now you can send it as a PDF, absolutely. And the best thing about Studio Ninja and Tave and every other software you can think of, you can just attach a PDF and it costs you absolutely nothing and it's free to do and you can post it off and it's all done and you don't need to think about it. Um, what screams quality to me is to give the client something finished and printed and done. I'm a bit of a stickler for um, brochures, booklets, buyers, finished artwork. Because if you're expend expecting your client to spend $3,000, $5,000, $2,000 on artwork, the least you can do is print a $3 book to give it to them so that they can actually understand what it is that they're going to buy. The best part is when you give these in the photo shoot is that when you, you use it, so in the course shooting for success, we go through the photo shoot and what we say after the photo shoot as a product walkthrough and a takedown, right? 
So what you would do is actually use the booklet as a tool and be like, right, so when we select your wall art and this and the uh, and the uh, uh, sizes, oh, actually, no, this is your homework that I want you to do. Choose which rooms it's gonna go in, take photos of the wall, look at the collections and choose a payment option. The reason why I need the room view is because I wanna superimpose your picture on the walls and I wanna make sure that the size of the print is gonna suit where you're gonna put it. If it's too big, it's gonna look silly. If it's too small, it's gonna look silly. It's like the it's like the got Goldilocks and the three bears. It's gotta be just right. You don't want something too hot. You don't want something too cold. You don't want something too big or too small or too heavy or too light. You want to have it designed for that space. If I don't have a photo of that wall that you want to display the artwork, I can't help you design that space. You just got to do it on your own, which, which, is, which makes life really hard. So I need a photo of the wall. The finishes. So this one is the frame and this one is the canvas and this one is the wood print and this one is the wood art and actually pick it up and hold it and be like, and this is the wood print here and it's got this and it's got that and do all the features and benefits of how amazing it is because it's a photograph with the sand test, the laminate on the front and it's really lightweight so you can hang it on your wall, um, all that type of stuff. Because then people can actually just hold on to this and look, and then your collection. So this one's got the room views. Where it's like this one here is collection number one. That one here is collection number two. And if I turn to the story art, that is over here, up there. <laughs> so you use your booklet as a tool to show people what everything is. So you walk them through the products, through the booklet. These are the boxes that we have here. These are the albums that we have. And on the back, we've got your gift prints for your family as well. Oh, and don't forget payment. So Katrina, yours is very similar to this. You know, either pay in full or use 50-50 or a payment plan and your appointment is on this time and this time. So having something printed as a product guide is a really cool thing to have because it's, it's just makes the sale easy. And the best part about it is, if I get my old one from Enhance from like a gazillion years ago that I've sticky taped together because it's so old, um, we used to grab a pen and paper. We used to be like, so not that one, not that one. You're thinking about this one and you like this idea, but you don't like that idea. Like you use it as a tool. You use it to help you. Now, if you use it as a PDF, you can't do that. And simple you just can't do it so i much prefer to print it all right um phew, when did i have where, 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 where am i dylan am i making sense yeah yeah um <laughs> if you were looking at um someone starting from scratch for a product guide if you and sort of had to dot point the content sections and the sequencing what what would you recommend Go through it. Here's one I prepared it. Actually, I didn't prepare this earlier. I'm just going to make this up as I go. Let me just uh, get a few little bits of inspiration here. Inspiration one. So the dot point is um, wait, 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 wait. The dot point is, is like, um, What's next um, plus to-do list, All right? So what's next plus a to-do list? We hope you've had an amazing photo shoot. We can't wait to create beautiful artwork for you. Here's a checklist, here's your to-do list, here's things to consider. Confirm which rooms you wanna display your artwork, take photos of the wall, what products, what collections suit you best, how would you like to pay for it? all that type of stuff. Then the next page is um, wall art. Why and what and size. So it's like, 
wall art is a great way to display your artwork because of USB shit and blah, 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 <laughs> pretty much. All those reasons of why, why get things printed in the first place, you know, and that we've got everything to suit your style and budget as well. Then finishes, finishes. So what finishes does your wall art come in? Canvas, frame, wood, metal, frame, torn edge, torn edge, frame. You've got so many choices now, Dylan. I was actually complaining about you guys the other day because it used to be so much easier. Frame or canvas, which one would you like? Now it's a frame, frame of the box. Now it's a metal, a metal with a box and an acrylic and a wood print and a frame and a frame with a torn edge. Like, and a wood print with a box. <laughs> and a wood print with a box. Ah, oh, wood print with a box, of course there is. <laughs> so it's like, there's just so many damn choices now. So you need to go through the finishes of what finishes do your products actually come in. Then your next one, because you spoke about wall art individually and the finishes, you then go on to collections. What wall groupings and collections do you sell? And B Pro's got a whole lot of wall collections with that. Now, also with collections, <laughs> for why, for what? What is a collection? Why a collection? Because a collection of images is really cool because it tells the story of your family. You know, it's a great way to, to, to showcase your images with three or four hero pieces to blah, 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 all that type of stuff. <clears throat> then next one is storyboards. Storyboards. Board. Why storyboard? And what is a storyboard? Storyboard, wall gallery, whatever you use, collection, groupings, whatever you want to call it. That's this one over here for those people who are playing along with the game. Like, why storyboard? Storyboards is a perfect way to combine a number of, of photos from your shoot in the one framed artwork because it hangs on one hook that's a that's a storyboard that's that's a benefit as well um that's why storyboards and then you've got your um i'm gonna write your best because premium is too hard to spell best album <laughs> and boxes like what's your premium album and your premium box is it the wood print like the wood one here is it the espresso album like what's your like your your favorite premium albums and boxes like what are they and then you have got your um extras and upgrades Extras and upgrades is your portrait box, your linen album, your Brad books, your digital files, your little two-ups, your little stands for mum and dad, all that type of little extra stuff, the slide shows, your um, sticky albums, if you're doing that, it's all that kind of stuff, all right? Then your payment. How are you going to pay for your stuff? How you gonna pay for your stuff? Like, how are you gonna actually pay for it? Like, what is the payment options? So you paid in full. Do you have to pay thirty percent now and thirty percent later and thirty percent after that? Is it a pay advantage, a pay right, an easy pay, a PayPal, pay this, pay that, whatever? Like, how are you going to pay for your stuff in a nutshell? What's the method? What's the benefit of pay right compared to fifty fifty or pay advantage? Like, how are you gonna pay for your shit? I mean, stuff. Um, then the next part is really the, um, the appointment. Now, this is different though, all right? So again, this comes down to your client experience. If you have a design appointment, then there's another appointment. If you shoot and sell same day IPS on the same day, then you would send this at the time of the booking and there will be no appointment. It'll just be payment will be made on the day of the photo shoot. But if you get them back on a different day, say you do photographing dogs and pets or people outdoors, where you're gonna shoot them one day, show the photos the next day, that's when you do the appointment, right? Or online 
I'm going to write system because I'm going to make it easier. If you don't have appointment and you have an online system like, say, pick time, tell them how it bloody works. It's pretty confusing if you've never used it before. Pick time. We, your images will be delivered with the software with an amazing software called pick time. Pick time is where you'll see, you know, you open up the file and you, this might be a whole PDF on or an email of opening the file and then you'll have a password, you'll see your slideshow. And if I were you, I would do a behind the scenes video of how to order stuff online, whether you're using Pixie Set, Pick Time, Shoot Proof, or anything. If you have an online system, just make sure it's really clear. All right. But that, in a nutshell, is what a product guide should look like. Now, if you were to add, Pink. Right. So let's just go. Wait, what color did I use? Blue. Very finicky about my colors, people. So this is P R O D U C product D U I D E product guide. If you're just doing the product guide, that's what it should really be like. Have your room views, have your products, have your finished artwork, make it make sense. If you've got the extra bit, so the before part, this is the experience guide. So what you did, uh, which go, which go, which go, which go? Lost her. Who was it before? Um, Stacy, so what you had was the experience, there you are, you had the experience guide, then go into product guide, all right? So in a nutshell, that's what's in a product guide, that's how you use a product guide, and that's why you need a product guide, because it's so much easier when clients come back to you and they're not even started the slideshow yet. And they look at your product guide and they're like, oh, Mark, we want to do this one. And you're like, sweet. Or they look at this and they'll be like, oh, that's that one. That's the one that we want to do. And you're like, perfect. Let's have a look at your photos and choose the ones to suit it. So much nicer when people do that. So much nicer. So good when people just point to stuff and go, can we do this? And you say, yes, you can. Like so much easier. That's what we're trying to do. What the primary goal of the product guide is, is to sell products and educate your clients on how to, on how to buy it to suit their home and style and design and space. Now, when it comes to how to put this into action, you do need to design your product guide. So I've given you the framework right there and Dylan, I'll give that to you so you can yep. use and you know what, I'm gonna take a photo now because what will happen, I'll wipe this off and you'd be like, hey Mark, can you, uh, can you send through that list? And I'll be like, oh yeah, no, I delete it. Yeah. Beautiful, there you go, done. Um, now it's a matter of putting it together. You've got a few options. You can use a graphic designer, you can use uh, Canva, Creative Market, Etsy as a template, and then just manipulate the template to suit that. Fundy uh, is another really good option. So Fundy um, is a really good way to create wall art as well, because you can make the wall art and put it straight into albums the way. My computer's saying weird things. You can hear me okay, can't you? Yep. Can't you tell me? Yeah. I know you um, so it's a matter of now just creating it. So Katrina, how did you create uh, yours? So I did mine in design. Awesome. And if that's that's the proper software to design it in, <laughs> and kind of let's be honest. Um, Stacey, how did you do yours? Um, I got a template off Etsy. Yeah. So I don't really care how you do it or what software you use. 
the content is king. Make sure that the content is in the right spot and it's in there. And then however you make it is up to you. Like it doesn't really matter. Whatever works for you, make life easy for you as well. Oh, look at all these questions. I missed that. Um, what was the last thing? Um, so, Dylan, stock imagery. B Pro is working on product guide images. Yep. So, where um, Mark very rightly pointed out to us last week that we have very terrible photos for the finishes of products. So, comparing the types of frames, box frame canvases, wood prints. So, um, if you've attended this one, give us a couple of weeks and we'll send out an image pack um, of beautifully aligned images that kind of all match the same angle. Something so, like that. Something like that, yeah. And remember, shoot on dark timber and light yeah. timber and give them the some options. choices. Yeah. Make it really easy. Because one of the hardest things for everybody, and this is this is just everybody, one of the things that, is a hold up for you is you don't have any product. So you can't make a product guide because you have to choose a sample, pay for a sample, get it printed, get it made, get it in the studio, take a photo of it, then put it on the computer, and then put it in the product guide. So I was saying to Dylan uh, last week, if you've done that work for them, it's just little corners. Like nobody knows. Nobody knows what the picture is. It's fine. It doesn't really matter. So um, that's going to help you guys get moving quicker, faster, sooner. All right? Which would be really, really cool. All right. Let's have a look at these questions. All these questions. I missed them all. Does anyone outsource the actual design guide? Now, my wife is the graphic designer that has designed everything, all of these. Now, she's actually working full-time as a graphic designer for a local MP at the moment, which means it's election time. So she ain't got no time for nothing. It is just, they're crazy. Like seriously, just quietly, elections, they're batshit crazy. The whole office goes nuts. Um, so yeah, so she's out for six weeks, for five weeks until the election's all done. At the end, there'll be two options. A, she'll have a job because he'll get re-elected. Or B, he won't be re-elected, she won't have a job. So hold that space if you do need to get some graphic design work done. Um, Suze will be able to help you with that. But at this stage, uh, it's a hard no. Um, what you will need to do either way, you will need to, before you even start your product guide, what I suggest you do is get the elements for the product guide that you need. So write these ones down. So Dylan, write this down. You will need, what will you need? Where's my guides? You will need product images. You will need room views. You will need um, the copy and descriptions of everything. And you will need, um, that's it. Individual products, room views, and your copy. Three things. You can't build a guide until you got that. Because what happens when Suze builds them for people, everything will be done, but they're waiting on one product. And then it sits there for three months. So you've got to get all those products done anyway. Um, is there any way I can find out the details on the different product finishes, e.g. wood prints? So Stacey, the website, just speak to BPro. They'll be able to help you with it. Everything. And we'll collate, when we mail this out, we'll collate some links to sort of the best places to find terminology and specifications. And... Yeah. Cool. Isabel, my first IPS is at least a week after their session. I send the product guide as far as the PDF when they book and I give them print the copy at the end of the session. I currently just print them at home on A4 paper. Yep. Whatever works for you. Um, Katrina, could you design mine? Katrina, do you want to design people? Because I've got so much spare time, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'll take those a no. Uh, do you include the price in the product guide? Rachel, no, you don't. So here's your tip, right? Here's a golden tip for you. 
I kind of left out on purpose, but that's okay. I'll share with you. So your product guide is your product guide where everything's in there, right? See, notice with my products here from years and years and years and years and years ago, they're not in room views. I didn't put them in room views for a purpose. And the purpose was I don't want people to assume what product and what sizes go in each room. That was my headspace. Ever since everyone else has done one, they always put them in, put them into room views. But hey, whatever. Um, so after I've gone through all of these. This is how old this is. See this boy? His name's Eamon. He was my first ever cake smash, like ever. He just turned 12. It's awesome. Um, the price list, notice what's on front. Wall collections, because that's what I sell first. And on the back, upside down, because it's not done right, is just the individual price list. Because what happens if you want to change your product or change your price, just print another one. Still use it. We use this product guide until we updated it for nearly five years. So, yeah, that's what happens when you print off, like, I don't know, 2,000 of them. You're stuck with them for a while. Um, so, yeah, so the price list is just printed nicely, A4 piece of paper on the back. But make sure, again, and this is why I said at the very, very, very start, you need to make sure you have your price and products done first before you do your product guide because you can see that oh, Melissa Allerbridge's product, like the pricing guide here, right, is beautifully aligned and color-coordinated with her product guide. So they go hand in hand, all right? So there is methods to the madness in that sense as well. Mm, I'm just going to slot an A4 piece of price at the back of the guide and reprint everything. Katrina, exactly. That's what I said. Um, my product guide currently has a mix of images from stock images and images that I've taken and it looks so bad to me. So Isabella, just tidy it up go through, make it consistent. Like when you have a product guide that looks as beautiful as this, like it all just looks like it's match made in heaven. Like it just looks beautiful. And the room views and color tones and styles, like you've just got to make sure that you've got it to suit your brand and style as well. Like I've got one here, right? Um, I'll block the name, but their product finishes are really dark. And they've got more kind of kind of textures around it. So it just you've just got to make sure it suits your style of photography and your brand as well. Um, what else is there? Is there a product description we can use from Bead Pro? Answer that one. Yes, that's brilliant. Uh, sorry guys, a non-pricing question. Price you on back. Ideal size of printed product guide and how many pages? Um, when you print, you need to think of saddle stitching. So saddle stitching is when you've got one, one piece of paper, right? That's folded. So it's in fours. So four, eight, 12. 12 pages is what we recommend doing it. If it's not 12, it needs to be 16. Um, as I said earlier, I prefer if you're going to do your experience guide in the landscape, do your product guide in a portrait mode or kind of vice versa. Make them different so people can't compare them. Uh, I've never been able to find a product guide template. No, Judith, you will never find a product guide template ever. You won't find them anywhere. They don't exist. I'm going to save everybody a whole heap of time. Product guide templates don't exist. You need to make it yourself. This is not a normal thing that the photography industry does because they just don't. It's not a common thing. And Americans don't do it. So that means the rest of the world don't do it all of a sudden. Ain't that right, uh, Caitlin? Like if America does it, then everyone must do it because it must be awesome. But 
we've been doing them forever. We've been doing them, like I said, since probably 2010 or 2009 to 2010. Um, anyone that I've worked with, with the Master Marketing and Shooting for Success knows all about it. Hence why Katrina's was almost perfect. It just makes it easy to sell your artwork, but you won't find a template because graphic designers in the States and different countries won't, haven't caught on to this because they just haven't. But you just need to find something that's similar and then turn it into it. Um, I've never been able to find it. Tickle A5, price and price is brilliant. Thank you. How do you manage looking at prices from different bespoke sizes? I feel silly looking through my spreadsheet. Um, Rachel, this is where you've got to be set on your prices and the sizes of your products. You know, Dylan, like how many sizes can you print a canvas in? We're almost infinite. Uh, too many. Just just choose. 11 by 14, 20 by 16, 20 by 30, 30 by 40. There you go. Choose four. And if they want to choose something different, then price it accordingly. Like, keep it simple. I designed one on Vista Print, which was a trifold brochure, super easy, no room for wall collections and detail close up products. I wanted to make it like a book. Exactly. Um, yeah. And the trifold one is awesome too. So I've seen the trifold one. It just depends on how much information you want to put into it. It's like an experience guide and a trifold. An experience trifold is just six bits of information on six pages. An experience guide is like 15, 16 pages. Uh, well priced printer uh, I did have a printer called Hero Prints in Sydney they called us and complained and asked me to stop recommending them to photographers so don't use Hero Prints in printing I mean Hero Prints in Sydney um, because Sue's used to like that's what we print everything with but they only deal with graphic designers um, so to be honest I don't have someone in particular office works Mr. Print <laughs> it depends on the size the minute man um, yeah. Uh, what else? Cool. I think that's it. Dylan, do you have anything? Did I miss anything? No, 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 that was really good. Um, as Mark mentioned, give us a couple of weeks for the product images, but we'll email out a lot of the stuff around the product descriptions, um, copy, uh, a link to the existing tools and mock-ups that we've got if you haven't got those. Um, if you also, if you think of something that would make your life easier in creating a product guide, please email us. Um, I can't one hundred percent promise, but if we can make it happen, we will. Um, but no, um, I think that covered. Did anyone have any last questions before we wrap up? We got ten minutes. We got some time. Users, people. All right, I'm gonna put people on the spot then, because you should know better. Answering in the chat box, you box yes or no. Have you got a product guide? Actually, type in the chat box yes or no. Have you got a product guide or have you not? Now, those people who are going to be in lots of trouble Paulina Smith, Katrina Johns, Emma Baker, Judith, Anna, Eloise has left the building because she's because she knows better as well. Because I've taught her. Inya, Isabella, Jill. Katrina, oh, she's dropped off. Teresa Pool, you should all have product guides. We've gone through this over the last how many years? Two, three years. If you have, yes, Emma, I can see it. Good girl. If you haven't got a product guide, like you're seriously leaving a lot of money on the table. I'm not talking a little bit of money. I'm talking a lot of money on the table. Not only a lot of money on the table, I was talking with a bunch of photographers today, but just emotional headspace of design appointments and selling to your clients you want to have yes bindi i can see you you want to have your product guides done so your clients go i'll have one of those and one of those and it's like cool let's go take the photos first though hey <laughs> like just slow down a little bit like of course i want to get an album they look amazing i was like all right well let's just photograph for the album you know the amount of people that would walk into our studio and go, I want that. And it's like, so you want exactly like this with that same style and that same stuff. And the, you know, and then you talk through the shooting for success and make sure you're shooting for the end product in mind. But they want, they've already spent three and a half thousand dollars before you've even picked up a camera. 
that's what you want. It makes your job so much more pleasurable and easy and not going into a design appointment going, oh, I hope they buy something. I hope they like it because I like it. I thought it was pretty cool, but I hope they like it too. Hey, um, so here's your slideshow. Um, so what would you like to do with your images? If that word ever comes out of your mouth, what would you like to do with, yeah, Emma, exactly. What would you like to do with your images? Just slap yourself. Because if you ever say that out of your mouth, that's code for, I've got no idea what you want. I photographed whatever I felt like and I thought it was cool. Would you like to buy something? In a nutshell. <laughs> so, you know, this whole six P's, prior preparation prevents piss poor performance. Like, what do you need to do to prepare your business to make sure that you get the best results and what do you need to give to your clients to prepare them so that they understand what it is that you do yay for a tuesday isn't this fun mark um stacy had a quick question around how you'd link this in with say like your initial inquiries and phone calls and kind of plant the product seed even before you give them the guide this all should be on the website anyway really like it's a cut and paste from the website like you've got collections on the website layouts on the website text on the website finished artwork on the website all of this is generally on the website do you know that they're, they're saying of tell them and tell them and tell them again like people need to be told if they don't hear it the first time they'll hear it the second time they hear it the third time so that seed should be planted well and truly on the website before they even receive the product guide so one of the tricks that we have is whatever your images see there's all of our products there um whatever your images are that you put in your booklet get it printed on your wall so people walk in or from the website and they're like ah oh, that's the one i saw from your website that looks amazing you're like yeah it is well planned On the website education all the way through what else we got katrina had a very interesting note on digital images but you didn't have it long enough up to be fully read can i please show it again i'm not sure pamela because that's katrina's are we allowed and, um, basically it just says um, you get the digital for anything you buy printed and that you can add digital collections on to any printed product. That's essentially what it says. Yep. Um, Rachel, can we talk a little more about when and how to educate your clients? At what point is most successful to provide a, a guide? Again, depends on your client experience. All of this should be on your website anyway. If you have no, the amount of photographers who I coach, who is like, oh, Mark, I've never sold an album ever. No one ever wants to buy them or I've never sold a wall collection ever. No one ever wants to buy them. First thing I do is jump on the website. There is not a product in sight. And I'm like, of course, I wouldn't, do you know what? I'll be surprised if you ever sell anything because no one even knows it exists. It's invisible. Can't sell a secret. Do you know what? If you sold an album, I would be surprised. <laughs> So it's like, this is a part of like, it's got to be on your website. It's got to be spoken about. It's got to be educated through. It's got to be in your client experience. Rachel, if you're stuck on the client, um, educating your clients, look at doing the sprint class called the systems and workflow mastery. It takes you through the entire client experience of what needs to be done and what needs to be given at what given time and how to do it and why and how it looks. Because the whole part of this photography experience is the journey of what information to give and when. So, but it's all got to start on the website. So first thing people see before they even contact you. Mark, can you bring the product guides to the industry night? Uh, where are you, Eloise? You're in Adelaide. Adelaide? Melbourne. Adelaide. Um, no, I can't. But I'll get it to you another way. 
All right, I'll show it to you in the shooting for success. Actually, they're in the shooting for success course as well. Um, it's to the course during the day. No, not I that not I that course. Not I that course. No worries, Yoda. Um, <laughs> um, <laughs> okay, so what else we got? But if if we all use a website, similar wording, photos of products, and clients are shopping around. Um, are you going to look very similar? Bindi, yes. That is a fantastic point. So do you know what you should do? Photograph it yourself. <laughs> Make your own room views. Photograph them yourselves. Use your own words. Don't rely on other people. But on saying that, Bindi, how many times have you seen that photo on a newborn photographer's website? A gazillion times. You know what I mean? Like, do it yourself then. Don't use templates. And templates, you know, it's like know the rules to break the rules. You've heard that saying a gazillion times. It's better to have something and then to have nothing. Have something. Use the templates for the time being until you use until you can you can use your own. So yes, Bindi, I agree. Um, cool. Sorry, I just started talking and then didn't stop. Did anyone else have any questions? At all? Emma, how are you finding using the product guides? How about I ask the questions? Do you find it easier to sell your artwork because you have product guides? Yeah, absolutely. I send mine off because mine's a experience and product guide only one, just because I'm really lazy and I lose shit. So Perfect. I just put it in one. Perfect. Um, they get it straight away. So before they even book, I send a link to the website. I send my PDF of that. And then it just gets sent again and again and again, just so they know what's going on, what to expect. And it's good. I like it. Yep. It's awesome. And if you send it as a PDF, I would send it as a finished product or give it to them as a finished product at the time of the... I is. get that too. Yeah, it's awesome. <laughs> this is the tell them and tell them and tell them again scenario um also too this is really good for i'm going to be really typical typical here this is great for dads in the room for dads how many links have you sent to your partner to say hey check this out and they just have you looked at that link and they're like no nah, what link but if you go hey check this out and they're like oh yeah that's your website in a booklet. That explains everything. They don't need to see the website anymore. They, 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 that's, that's everything there. So yeah. Cool. Um, cool. Yay. All right. Anyone else got anything for him? Nothing? Can I just reply to uh, uh, Ina? Ina, I'm going to say your name wrong. You said it the first time, right, Ina? Yay, cool. Um, that one does. It's got my session fee. I have three product packages as well, so it's got those. Um, and then it's got my starting points for my wall art. But I am redesigning that now to put it back into that sort of format that Mark was talking about where you've got an A4 sheet of paper with the actual prices. Awesome. Because printing's expensive. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Cool. Thank you. Cool. And I can tell you now the success of people who have done all this process just made life so much easier. No one likes to be a salesperson. Being a salesperson sucks. You just want people coming in and go, I want that. And you say, sure. You just got to make sure that you can photograph it. That's the tough part. So, yeah. Any other questions? Nothing? Going once? I can ask a question. Go, Anna. Or actually make a comment. So I have had my um, product or experience guide and product guide all in kind of one. Um, and I actually love it, but because I was kind of rushed 
by you to just get it out. <laughs> You're welcome. Um, I did it, but like, so my product guides, I don't have all the images that I actually need. So I don't know, I'll show you if you can see. So I've got like the packages here. Yeah. And on the other side, there's the price, my, just like my pricing, um, initial pricing. Then I have the a la carte thing. Okay, so see how much writing, like I like the way it looks, but I know that my customer, my clients don't know what those are. Yeah. So what I need to work on is like basically finding the right images to those products. So that's what I need to work on. That is not a product guide. That is a price list. Oh, sorry. I, I didn't show you. It's, it's like 10 pages long. Oh, okay. Yeah, this cool, cool. That comes after before the product guide. Yeah. So the price list, and it goes all into their um, initial inquiry. Yeah, so cool. that's when I give it to them. And, and then, I don't actually have them printed yet because I'm still working on the images. This is just mine. Yes. So you agree, I definitely have to have pictures of every single product, probably, right? It will make life easy so that you know what you're going to buy. Do you know what I think about? And this is funny because any good kind of restaurant wouldn't do this. But I think about the Asian restaurants when I was in Cambodia and all the food has got photos of it and you can just look at a picture and go, I'll have that. You don't have to read it. I'll just take that because you don't even want to read it anyway because you don't want to know what's really in it. I'll have that one. Um, it makes life so much easier. You just go, I'll, you know, because if I was to say, you know, a, um, a, a, boutique, a boutique fine art lay flat album, that could be, what could that be? It could be anything. It could be anything from, like there's so many albums out there, like it just needs to be obvious of what it is that you're going to get. That's all. So yes, Anna, you do. So yours, Dylan. Awesome. Thank you very much as always, Mark. Um, and thanks for everyone for coming along. Um, we'll email out a recording in about 24 hours. We, we won't put this one up on YouTube like we normally do just because people have so kindly shared their um, product guides. But um, if you want to rewatch really parts, you'll get the direct link via email. Cool. And hey, just before we go, uh, you can the, press stop on, on the recording and then I'll... Just one sec. Give you something extra.